This is Matthew Miller again from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog and the Mobile Gadgeteer. A couple of key applications on the G1 that I wanted to show was Gmail. Uh, let's see, I'll find an email here that uh, we can look at. As you can see, this is the default inbox. You can uh, tap in star uh, emails. But let's go ahead and open one up. And there we go. As you can see, this is the friend feed. And uh, as you can see, email is shown in HTML email, nice format. I can tap show pictures, and it will download the pictures in the email, I believe. And you see, we can scroll quickly scroll through, or you can use the uh, trackball to jump through all the different hyperlinks. And if we tap and hold on the email, let's see if this one does anything. Okay, so we go back to the top of the email. If I tap the header, it'll collapse it and then let us archive labels or delete that email. If I expand it again, and then I go all the way down to the bottom of the email, you can see there's a few more options. Reply, reply all, and forward. I don't see any other way to get to those other than scrolling all the way to the bottom which is one uh, one area that I have a contention with. Now if we go back here, if I was to tap and hold on an email, here you have a bunch of different options. Read, archive, mark and read, add a star, delete, change your label, or report your spam. If you also, on the inbox, which is the default, press the menu key, you can see this refresh, compose, view your labels, and if I was to select that, you can go through and you have all your different labels. If you were to tap on them, you would see the emails in your label labels that you have, which are your folders in Gmail. So you get a full Gmail experience on your device. Let's go back, tap and hold again. Oh, excuse me, go back to my menu again. There's search, you can search your emails, and there's also some settings. You can add a signature to your emails. You can select which labels are synchronized, and from here, you just go and you tap away at what ones you will always have synced, or if you just go and open them, you'll also be able to access them. There's email notifications, which I hope to show, I will show in a minute. There is a ringtone, and here we go, are the ringtones for the notification. and vibrate as well when an email arrives and I'll go ahead and select that and then you just go back there is no saving so there's some of my emails and you can see the ones that are already pre-labeled have the blue labels on them there's some starred emails as well now let's see if we can get a notification to occur for us I'll come back and have a notification Android is the notifications and status bar up here we have the time battery uh, there's my edge signal, there's my Wi-Fi, and over here we have a couple of notifications. Uh, one is a missed call, and the other is an email with the at sign. You also get some other notifications for alarms and things like that. So what we do is we uh, just, from any screen at all, as you can see there's no bottom bar, so you get a lot of screen real estate. One other thing I wanted to show is the uh, application switcher. If you press and hold on the home button, your running applications and the memory is managed kind of like Windows Mobile where the dynamically managed by the operating system as you can see I currently have six applications running and I can quickly switch between them by just uh, selecting it and going to that application just wanted to confirm that there is a limit of eight windows in the web browser as you can see here one two three four go up three five six seven eight and if I press here bookmarks and history, but there is no more option for new windows, so 8 is the limit on the web browser.